site and thank you to the uh, the crew out there that despite the rain they're still doing their work to everyone working out there in the rain mm -hmm. I salute you. Yes, Here's thank a, you. We want to talk about uh, Sierra snowpack. Some good news to share with you today. Take a look at some of these numbers. So this is where we are so far on the season. And, uh, you know, it's looking great. Statewide average, 175% of normals, almost twice as much as we would normally have this time of year. Look at the Southern Sierra, 213% of normal. The Central Sierra, 166, 165% in the North. But temper this with just the knowledge that we are still only at 25% of the April 1st average. We measure the depth of the snow at the beginning of April every year and compare that year to year. We're only at about one quarter of the amount of snow we like to see on the ground in April. So there's a long way to go to get to that. So these numbers don't mean a lot in December. Certainly a good sign. Something to remember, last December, it was very wet across the state and very snowy in the Sierra. We had very similar numbers, and the Sierra ended up well below normal by the end of the year between not getting much more snow after the first of the year and also having a very warm spring at times. So just keep that in mind. Because things are great now doesn't mean they're going to stay that way. Hopefully they do. But either way, we're keeping an eye on things. More rain added to the bucket here locally today. Here's some rainfall total since midnight. Salinas, almost two tenths of an inch. Santa Cruz, another three quarters of an inch. Quarter of an inch in Monterey. Two thirds of an inch in Watsonville. Hollister, four hundredths of an inch, not a lot. Gilroy, over six tenths of an inch. We'll take it, adding on to those totals. And this system finally done. We'll have some comprehensive totals, I think, here for the next couple of days to share with you uh, to look back on this system. The, the upper level low is finally sitting overhead. It has been a journey to get here. If you think back to Friday night, we started to see this low digging into the Pacific Northwest and it started grabbing a moisture plume out of the uh, Southwest. And, and then that's what sat over us on Saturday and rained on us. Then we had a cold front on Sunday. And then yesterday we started seeing this cold upper level low start to work in in a couple of short waves around that and now it's overhead so finally here and then finally moving on and leaving us with some cold air in the meantime right now temperatures 40s and 50s there's a lot of moisture in the air tonight so that does act as an insulator and hold on to some of the warmth from the day if you can call it warmth i mean today's highs were below normal certainly for this time of year but for the rest of the overnight hours i don't expect temperatures to get frigid overnight they will get cool low 40s pretty seasonable lows and with that some fog will be possible tonight as we look at future cast it is showing some low clouds across the south can't rule out one more shower for our inland hills but generally done outside of a couple of spring Overnight tonight, mostly clear areas north of Monterey Day Bay, partly cloudy areas south of Monterey Bay. And then tomorrow afternoon, we will see a little bit of convection. There still be a little bit of leftover instability tomorrow. Once the sun comes out, starts warming us up a bit. It's a lot of low-level moisture. There's still very cold air aloft. So we'll start to see bubbly clouds pop up over the hills. Notice that the computer model is showing clouds pretty much right with our mountain ranges tomorrow. So it is showing that tomorrow during the afternoon, we will see some clouds popping up over the hills. With that, a chance of some showers, I think, over the Diablo range. The model is showing that, but most of our main populated areas should stay dry again tomorrow. Tomorrow being the expected dry day because we have another system on the way. The next weather maker will be here Thursday evening with some light precipitation to start with, and then it looks like around midnight on Thursday, a heavier band potentially coming through. So another one to watch. We're not quite done with this precipitation yet. Looks like we're going to add on to it as we head into the weekend. As I mentioned, temperatures tomorrow staying cool, though, even with some warming tomorrow afternoon, our Highs expected to be below normal. 56 in Santa Cruz, 50s in the Santa Cruz Mountain Valleys, 40s in the higher elevations. We'll be in the mid 50s in Capitola tomorrow. On the east shore of the bay, mostly mid 50s again. We could get it around 57, I think, would be some of our warmer temperatures tomorrow. So not really all that warm of a day. Um, 56, your high expected in Hollister, which was behind my back there, but I, I got it there for you. Over the Monterey Peninsula, 57 for your high tomorrow, 56 in Seaside, and then a slew of 50s down south as well. And notice the lows, cool, but not all that cold because of that moisture in the air. Now, as we look at the next seven days, we don't see any warmth anytime soon, but what we do see is additional rainfall. So on the coast, I've got us dry and partly cloudy tomorrow. That system coming in late on Thursday, which will last into Friday morning. And then another system late Friday lasting into Saturday. 
And behind that, another kind of cold core low sneaks in Sunday and perhaps into Monday, which could give us showers and maybe some thunderstorms. Kind of a similar scenario today. We didn't see a lot of thunderstorms, but we did have some lightning along the coast overnight, and that's kind of a similar scenario that I'm seeing on Sunday. So more to watch out for. Early next week, I guess, looks dry. Maybe a touch warmer, but not much. Inland area, similar story, except you have that isolated chance of showers over the hills tomorrow. But, uh, you know, your normal high this time of year should be in the low 60s, both in the coast, inland, and uh, we're going to be well below that, it looks like for the next seven days. Veronica.